Hi there. Now in the first part of this question, we're told that the circle C has centre A with coordinates 2, 1. And it passes through the point B with coordinates 10, 7. And what we've got to do is find an equation for C for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, then welcome back if you had a go. Now, what I'd always suggest for something like this is just to draw a sketch. And so if you're drawing a sketch, it will look, say, something like this. We've got the centre of the circle. It has coordinates 2, 1, and it's the point A. So if we just mark that in as the point here, A, with coordinates 2, 1. 1 and we've got this point here B with coordinates 10 7 okay now if we're to find an equation for C I'm assuming that you are familiar with this you can always check out um, tutorials on my website for the equation of a circle but uh, we should be familiar with the fact that any circle and C for this one has the form x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared and that equals r squared where x1 y1 are the coordinates of the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle so for this question, we've got x1, y1, x1 is 2, y1 is 1. What we haven't got is the radius of the circle. So if we mark the radius in, let's say we're going from a to b, okay, then how are we going to get that radius? Well, it's the, simply the distance between the two points. And to get the distance between the two points, we basically use Pythagoras' theorem. In other words, r squared is equal to, if we construct a triangle, a right angle triangle, say something like this, okay, then the sides here, this side here is going to be the difference between the x coordinates, which will be 10 minus 2. In other words, 8 units long. We square that. And we add to that this distance squared. And that is the difference between the y coordinates. That's 7 minus the 1 squared. And so what we've got here is 8 squared plus 6 squared, 64 plus 36, which is 100. So we've got the radius squared. So when it comes to the equation of the circle, let's just put an intro here. Therefore, the equation okay of C is and so we can just say that it is going to be X minus X1 X1 is the 2 we square that plus Y minus Y1 Y1 is the 1 square that and it equals R squared and R squared we've just seen is 100 okay